iko ni, ni, ni mnyama mbaye hapo na discipline kabisa na Mungu amemsaidia akiona kwamba sasa makucha yake sijui nini nini imekuwa yana kuna wakati sizo na nataka ondolewe anajichukua kule mlimani kwa jiwe anataka itakuwa mwezi mmoja wa tena it is akimboja hizo zingine za zamani zitoke mpya zingine haleluya he renews our youth like that of a nigo watu wanakuona hata wanashindwa ni umri gani wewe uko nao maana you are strong you are walking strong you are looking young you are looking well fed na sio kwamba ni well fed ni kitu gani ni kama Daniel alikataa chakula ya mfalme manyama nyama ambayo ndio tunalilia sana akakula mboga na Bwana alimnawiri alimfanya kanawiri kabisa vizuri so kuna utamu ndani ya Mungu ambao unafanya mtu kunawiri kukua mwana haleluya unaonekana mzuri na tabasamu watu wajue na sio lazima wajue lakini wewe unajua siri ni nani ni Yesu siri ya maisha ni Yesu suluhisha la maisha ni Yesu ujana wako ni nani Yesu na utaendelea kuwa na, na uo ujana mzuri wewe unakuwa eh unakuwa bado huko uzee unapitia kando haleluya uzee unapitia wapi kando maana Mungu wako anakufanya mpya siku baada ya nyingine haleluya that is our god and that is why we should thank him na mwangalie wanasema Mungu ninaona wenzangu wameishi na wana wengine wanaisha kabisa maana laini yao ilichanganyikana wakaingia pombe wakaingia sigara wakaingia usizi wakaingia vyote hivyo vibaya vibaya ambavyo shetani shetani anawavutia na mwisho wa mtu anaisha fikira mbaya mambo yanakuwa mabaya but we will thank God for satisfying our mouths with good things and also for renewing our youth like the eagles haleluya bana Yesu apende sifa kitu kingine mstari wa sita ndio tuachane na zaburi 103 the lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed wale ambao wamegandamizwa mungu anawasimamia anaona kwamba hao wote ambao wamewagandamiza yeye anawashughulikia hata hiyo judgment ambayo eh, ingekuwa hakuna mtu wa kuwashtua kwa huo uovu amefanya hawatakuwa salama bwana Yesu apende sifa wale ambao wamekuoppress haleluya mungu anakusimamia anasema hapana enough is enough no more haleluya no more oppression on your side watu wanapata mtu ameumia ameumia lakini akikuja kwa Yesu anaelewa ni nini kinaendelea anasimama anasema Mungu wangu nisaidie Mungu wangu nipone Mungu wangu nihifadhe Mungu wangu nikomboe na Mungu anamkomboa hiyo judgment ambayo ingemwambukia anaiondoa na wale waovu ambao walikutumia hiyo oppression huyo shetani haleluya anaangalia akisema na huyo pia amekombolewa na huyo pia kile kitu ambacho jamii ilifanya na tumewafuata kama eh, judgment kwa hiyo boma imeondolewa haleluya na tena yule ambaye sasa ndiye walikurushia judgment inakuwa yao haleluya bwana Yesu pesifa pesifa wewe unakombolewa eh hiyo judgment ambayo umeletewa kwa sababu you are so oppressed kwa sababu pingine bloodline ilikuwa na maneno mengi yako lakini sasa wewe unakombolewa na Bwana Mungu wako you have a reason to thank you alafu na wale ambao wameifanya kazi yao na shughuli yao kukushughulikia wasipojiandaa wow they are judged for what they are, they are doing contrary to the will of God in that in a child of God's life Bwana Yesu apende sifa haleluya ndio sababu Biblia inatuambia katika Genesis kwa Abraham whoever will bless you I will bless whoever curses you I will do what I will curse Bwana Yesu apende sifa wakati huo laana imekuwa mkia yaani sasa Mungu anaona na wao unaani una laani mwanangu sasa wewe laana hiyo ndio itakuwa yako judgment inakuwa yake haleluya lakini hata yeye anaambiwa 
ukitoka hapo haraka Mungu ni mzuri atakusamehe maana hata kama hivyo anakupenda ingia katika eh, the fold so that Bwana akutendeneye Bwana Yesu apende sifa haleluya <coughs> so in summary as i finish ni kusema kwamba God forgives us our sins and sets us free ndio sababu tunatakika ni kumshukuru anatusamehe na kutukomboa kutoka kwa maovu na kutuweka huru tumshukuru haleluya Mungu anatuponya kutokana na magonjwa mbalimbali sababu ya kumshukuru sana siku ya leo maana wengine wetu wende kawa tulikuwa wagonjwa na wapendo wetu walikuwa wagonjwa lakini sasa Bwana anatuonekania amewaonekania na wamepona ulikuwa na dhambi ulikuwa hujaokoka Mungu amekuokoa amekusamehe hizo dhambi na we yuko huru tumshukuru tatu ametukomboa kutokana na kuharibiwa na wale ambao wametuangamiza Bwana Yesu apee sifa nguvu zake zimetuweka nguvu za Mungu zimetuweka sema nguvu za Mungu zinatuweka God's power sustains us. Hata kama mambo ni magumu, when you are in the Lord, you will stand and you will declare, I belong to Jesus and he loves me and that is enough for me. And he will deliver me and he has set me free. Hallelujah. Hata kama now I'm going through this, he is sio maisha yangu hapa. This is not my rest in peace. Ninatoka hapa na nasonga mbele. Wana wa Israeli walitoka Misri, there is an expiring date for everything sema expire date sema expire date yaani kuna kuna tarehe ya mwisho wa kila kitu mwisho wa ugonjwa asante yesu mwisho ya kusamehe ya kutosamehewa asante yesu mwisho wa kukombolewa na wewe watu wale ambao za wewe hawezi ku ikishika nota mount wewe tena unakombolewa na mwisho tarehe zile ziliisha ukatoka hapa uko hapa unaonekana mzuri na unainua mkono na sema bwana asante hata watu wanasema ai huyo ni Mungu huyo ni Mungu huyo ni nani kuna mwisho wa ugonjwa sema mwisho wa ugonjwa hata wewe katika mtandao bao wenda ikawa una ugonjwa ninatangaza mwisho wa huo ugonjwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninasema asante Yesu maana anakuponya kutoka kichwa hadi miguu katika jina la Yesu Kristo anakuweka huru kila aina ya kuuma ambayo imekuwa yako siku ya leo ninainyamazisha na kuiharibu na kuisamaratisha na kuona mzizi yote na kutangaza uovu wa shetani umeisha ndani ya maisha yako na adui wa magonjwa ayuko wako hapo tena wewe umewekwa huru na Yesu kwa kukuponya umeponya miguu umeponya mikono umeponya mgongo umeponya kila mahali damu kila misuli mifupa uponyaji ni wako na upokee katika jina la Yesu Kristo na sisi tunapokea haleluya tunapokea hata kwa niaba ya wale ambao wako hapa ambao walikuwa wagonjwa na Bwana amefanya nini? Ameponya na tunasema asante kwa huyu Yesu. Bwana Yesu apee sifa. Haleluya. Na kama vile tulivyosoma Zaburi 91 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza mpaka tulisoma wa kwanza tu mpaka wa tisa tutasimama tumalizie hiyo. God has kept us. God has done what? Has kept us. Mungu ametuweka. Bila Mungu safari ingekuwa ndefu na mbaya lakini na Mungu ametuweka tumetoboa na tutatoboa hata zaidi na watoto wetu na jamii zetu na vyote vile ambavyo vimetanishwa na majina yetu Bwana Yesu apee sifa nataka tusimame tusome Zaburi 91 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza hadi wa tisa kisha ndio sasa tutaomba tuende kumaliza simama kabisa na miguu yako juu simama tunataka kusoma hiyo zaburi tisina moja tukisema Bwana wewe ambaye umetutenda mema tunakutukuza tunakushukuru tusikie zaburi hiyo Bwana anasema nini maana hata kuna mtu shingo unaua shingo na kutangazia uponyaji mahali popote ulipo mtandao shingo hilo lipone kabisa kabisa Haleluya upone kabisa mgongo huo upone katika jina la Yesu Kristo huo mgongo ambao umekukata cross hapo chini I declare and decree your healing 
in the name of Jesus. Sasa nataka uchukue Biblia yako na utasoma na sauti kubwa. Sauti gani? Kubwa. Vile Mungu ametuweka mstari wa kwanza hadi wa tisa Aliye na Kiswahili, Kikisi, Kibanuya, Kikuyu, Kijaluo tunasoma na mimi nasoma hii kwa utukufu wake kwa Bwana. Set you of abiding in the presence of God. Moja mbili tatu tuende kuanzia mstari wa kwanza He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fuller and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Verse 5. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noon day. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you as eight. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Verse 9, our last verse. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place, then no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Ebu chumpigye wana yesu makofi. Chumpigye wana yesu makofi. Chumpigye wana yesu makofi mazieni kabisa. Aleluya, aleluya. Ena meni za kumana. Mwabi asante kwa kukupona. Mwabi asante kwa kukupona. Asante kwa kukupona. Kukomboa, asante kwa kukulisha mitu mizuri, asante kwa kulina jami yako, enda mene za wana, wewe omba, omba ni kama hile mifunguliwa, uingo mifunguliwa maali, sasa unatawa kumwambia wana asante, wambia asante wana, zika nila waka zuku, rika ntili na nila fara waka zaya, wambia asante wana, wana tunaomba, baba tunaomba, hata wea mba uku mtandao, omba na sisi, tunaomba kwa sababu hui mba mkua usuri, tunaomba mwambia mungu asante kwa kunipenda asante kwa kunibariki asante kwa kunilinda mfalme asante kwa mengi mazuri ya mbao metenda mfalme wetu tunakushukuru asante mkombozi zika nina waka zaya roko zoku mtoro lirini kazaya mfalme wetu tunasema asante asante kwa lemba wako ewana asante kwa lemba wako mkombozi wetu mfalme tunakuwa mini Fai mtu na kwa mimi Asante kwa mtu linda buwana Mwene mtu ambia Mwene mwene mkawe wetu Mwene mwenezi wetu Mwene mkombozi wetu Asante kwa mtu kwa mbani Asante kwa mtu finika Na vyote waba Ambago mwene mwene mtu saidia Mwene mkombozi wetu Zika lina waka zika Roku zoku mtu wolo lina waka zia Baba tunasema asante Asante mwena mwende mtu tendea Mwani mtu mefi ni kwa sababu yako uwezo ambao tuko nao ni kwa sababu yako ushindi ambao tumepata ni kwa sababu yako bwana baba umeifadhi jamii zetu umelinda watoto wetu umelinda waume zetu wake zetu umelinda hata nchi yetu ya Kenya baba tunasema asante tumekuwa na Mungu hata tunaposema asante siku ya leo katika madhabahu haya tunakumbuka umetotoa mbali kama taifa Baba, chochote kina macho kimekua kikwazo Ambacho kinafaka watu wafikiri ya tutaweza Uwe ni mwongo wa shetani Ushimu wako mungo katika maisha yetu Wewe mungu wetu unatushindia Wewe mungu wetu unatuweka huru Unatuweka huru kama watu binafsi Unatuweka huru kama taifa la Kenya Unatushindia kama watu binafsi Unatushindia kama watu wa Kenya Unatushindia bado tunaomba Tunataka watu wame pamoja na wewe Kwa huku mtandao Omba na wewe omba Mana kuna mambo mingi wana mkutendea Una mshukuru siku hii Una mwami asante mwana Asante hata mimi ni mkuona Asante ameo ame kutendea katika watoto wako Ame kulindia watoto mpendwa Ame kulindia jamii mpendwa Ame kulindia mifugo 
Alina jina la Yesu Kristo. Hata hiyo kazi ambayo ulipata, aunge aunge pata hiyo kazi. Na hata ile ambayo unaenda kupata, atakupatia maana natangaza kazi yako unapata katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Na atakunyimia hiyo kazi. Na atakupanua katika hiyo kazi. Na atakunyimua katika hiyo kazi. Na siku itafika mambo utakumbuka Bwana siku na kazi lakini sasa umenipatia kazi. Bwana siku na fedha lakini sasa umenipa fedha. Hata wewe ambao ni mgonjwa mgongo wakati unafika utajua kwamba huo mgongo Bwana amekupenda katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Umepona kabisa huo mgongo kuanzia dakika hii nakataa huo mgongo ukuni tena katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Hata huo mkono wa kushoto ambao hapo hapa hapa unasikia uchungu unapona unapona kabisa katika jina la Yesu Kristo hata hiyo ampit hiyo ampit ya kushoto na kutangazia umepona hiyo ampit hiyo ampit huo mchungu ninaoa ninaoondoa ninaoadhibu katika jina la Yesu Kristo pende tunaomba pamoja na wewe pokea upendo wa Yesu Kristo pokea uhai wa Yesu Kristo po-